So, just did two warm ups of face pulls. Um, what I'm gonna be doing today, today's shoulder day, rise and grind, everybody, man. Time to get busy. Um, shoulder day, I'm gonna be doing some face pulls to begin with. I just did two warm up sets. I'm gonna go right into my working sets now. This is more of an isolation movement. What I'm basically doing right here, right now, is when I was younger, I used to do compound movements first, then do rears and side laterals and so on and so forth after. Uh, once in a while, I like to change it up, especially like as you've seen any of my last few videos since I started this new journey, um, putting on as much size as I can over the course of the winter. I haven't done rear delts, engaged rear delts first. And rear delts is definitely a weak spot for me, even though I'm not as lean or as defined as I was when I was in my uh, mid-20s, early 20s, and even into my early 30s. But nonetheless, and anybody that trains, men, male or female, anybody that trains and they actually look for overall uh, development, we all know that our front delts get a bulk of the engagement when we're doing all kind of pressing movements. So what is good to do is once in a while is try to just warm up the rear delts first and hit the rear delts first. So this way you kind of like pre-exhaust the back of the rears and you actually are working them and tackling them a little bit more uh, individually before you start engaging on those compound movements. So this is kind of like a pre-exhausting uh, you know, routine where I just start with rear. So I'm gonna do pulls today first, and then uh, I think I'm gonna probably go to the bench and try to do some, uh, some uh, incline rear uh, dumbbell rows as well. And then we're gonna go on and move on to other things, do side laterals, then we'll end up with the compound movements. I, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do uh, Arnold presses today or am I going to do uh, just straight uh, dumbbell presses seated or standing. You know, like I say all the time, I go by feel. Uh, it is a bit cold in the garage today, but I'm going to get this work in, man. It's time to grind. So let's get right to a working set. This workout, so when you do pull, uh, face pulls, you're really not looking to do anything major, no major heavy weight. This is all about getting a weight that you can handle and get maybe 12 to 15 really good repetitions with and then just stick with that. All right, here we go. So basically with the face pulls, if you've never done them before, it's kind of like doing an upright row, but instead of coming like right here, just below the chin and really flaring the elbows out, I kind of let the elbows go above my face. And then as I get back here towards the face, I kind of pull them a little bit back and that's going to isolate those rear delts better. one did about 12 13 reps there we'll do another one and then uh, I'm gonna go right ahead I'm gonna just do two sets I already feel the engagement I mean I really if you've never really done them before really just focus on getting those elbows a little bit back and getting it above close to your face and really extend a little bit more towards the rear with the with the elbows and you're gonna see that you're gonna feel your rear delts are gonna definitely contract and uh, isolate a little bit better Whew. all right I'm gonna do that for two, I'm gonna do that for one more set, and then I'm thinking I'm gonna bring the incline, turn the camera, uh, bring my incline Marcy uh, bench over here, lean over and do a chest against the board, incline, rear delts, and just really just concentrate on just those rear delts again, engaging and really trying to fatigue them before I start really banging them out with some heavy weights in front. So this way the rear delts get all that good engagement with the energy early on in the workout as opposed to when you're already almost pretty much fatigued by doing military presses or auto presses or any kind of presses and then going into your laterals and hitting your medial and your rear delts. <clears throat> all right, let me go to my second and last set here with this. Here we go, three, two, one. If you want to just keep the tension there, just come about halfway like this and you can just do half reps, just like this. I'm telling you, that's a good finisher there, but I'll do a little bit more of a range of motion here. Really get it up. It's 
See, get it up there like that. If you just go straight to here to here, towards the face, you're kind of gonna, gonna feel it more on your overall delts, and sometimes even in your front delts. So you want to take the gate, keep the keep the tension away from the front delts. All right, so those finish with those bad boys. Let's move it on here. We'll take this off. bench over here. Give you a moment. Place this here. Okay. So we here. Oh, we gotta lay flat. Oh, let's just put these things like this. Just gonna isolate right here, just like this. You could flare out this way if you like, or you can go straight up like this. I feel more of an engagement when I just go straight up like a, a nice little L shape with the elbows, and you really have no way of really cheating there because you're just leaning all your weight towards the bench. And it's all about getting those elbows up as high as you can. You can't use severely heavy weight with this. Again, it's a shaping movement, <clears throat> at least for me. I like to stick to this. 15 uh, pound range, maybe as high as 20s. But again, if you're a bigger, stronger individual, hey, go for it. I just feel a lot, a lot of blood already engaging and building up in the rear delts. So these two movements are excellent movements if you want to really isolate your rear delts. And if you want to really pre-exhaust them, you know, uh, pre-exhaust the shoulders, get the shoulders all warming up, doing two exercises like this, uh, or just doing lateral raises, you know, side lateral seated or standing, or even just, uh, you know, just bent over rear lateral raise or even on your Marcy machine if you have a multi-stack machine you can do the same thing you can turn it to the pad deck and then just go to the rear and you can loosen up your, uh, your rear delts and engage them early on so uh, this is a good way just to really exhaust them and then you'll be able to tackle the other heads right after I'm gonna just bump this up another five and I'm gonna stay right there with that weight after that. Uh, let's get right to it again. Unfortunately, put this down first. Get comfortable on this bench. Then you reach out for these bad boys right here. Here we go, set number two. Three, two, one, let's go. See you already. Uh, 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 oh man. As you can see there, they were getting already exhausted. I pushed out and cranked out another maybe two or three half reps. And again, it's nothing wrong with that, especially if it's your last set or your second to last set. As long as you feel good, go for it, man. So, uh, whew. all right, so those are two and two, I got four sets in, my uh, rears are pretty engaged right now, so what I'm going to do is, I am going to move on to another movement, okay, just like this, turn this around, All right, we're gonna do here. We're gonna go oh, to an Arnold press. Yeah, I'm gonna do Arnold press. I'm gonna see how that feels. 
I haven't done armor presses in a while, uh, possibly over a month. I've been mostly doing just standing uh, presses because uh, it's just my favorite movement for shoulders. Uh, in the old days, I used to love doing the seated military press and using the universal weight stack machine in the gyms and do military presses as well. And I used to enjoy doing the Smith machine presses as well, as well as rear, uh, you know, behind the neck presses, which my flexibility is bad right now. I could do those, but it would be more like very uncomfortable movement <laughs> for me. So I stick to like Arnold's and to uh, just military presses, the standard with the dumbbells. All right, Arnold press. Now you can actually do these like this, and I've done them before, but you really are engaging a lot of your front uh, uh, deltoid. So the armor press is better. That's good. I'm gonna up the ante and I'm gonna actually gonna mess around with this a little bit. All the press feels good, but I'm gonna up the ante and I'm gonna do a straight up regular press uh, on the second set. So the engagement is a little bit better now. Like I said before, just doing those rears first. And again, you can mix it up. You can do side laterals. You can do the medial heads of the, uh, the shoulders of the deltoids if you wanted to. So you can just do some rear, some uh, side laterals. Uh, you can do some loose, okay? You know, any of those around the world, half the around the world, whatever you call them. Some people call them loose. Some people call it around the world. Uh, where you start here, you just lateraling all the way up. You can do 21s where you can do 777. So you do the loo halfway, come down, do one at a time for seven. And then all the way up for seven. 21s are great. So there's a lot of different strategies, a lot of different uh, ways to attack the muscle, keep them uh, uh, confused. And then, uh, especially when you've come to a plateau, like they say. And uh, you know, that's when it's good to change it up. But I like changing it up regularly because I just get bored of doing the same, same, same thing, the same routine, routine, routine over and week in and week out. So I like supersets, giant sets, switching it up, doing drop sets, force reps, half reps, you know, doing 21s, doing fives, you know, doing rest pause, you know, whatever. There's so many things you can do. All right, we're gonna do some straight ups, straight up presses here, seated. It's a change from the last couple weeks I've been doing press standing. Uh, really can't cheat a whole lot when you're seating. two so we did the face pulls we did the rear incline now we're doing the military press I think I'm gonna do two more sets of military press really really blast these delts and then uh, we'll do some uh, uh, quick front laterals maybe some hammers front lateral raise hammer style and maybe we'll go right to finishing we'll finish up with the side laterals uh, 
possibly standing. Uh, we did stand in the last time. We'll go seated. We'll do everything seated. Yeah, we'll stay here seated. All right, here we go. Second set with the military. Uh, uh, Stay there, or should I move up? Ah, ah, uh, that was a good set there. I'm gonna stay right there with that weight. Half of me is telling me go, 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 but that's how you you could get injured. So I'm gonna listen to myself and stick with this one. This was a good set. It's a good weight, it's 30 pounders. I felt every rep really nicely. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stay right here and just blast it out one more time. And then we'll probably do some quick front delts for two sets. Then finish up with maybe two or three sets of uh, side laterals. Woo! Man. So, again, man, as long as you have a little space... You have a little workout space like this, you know, you got your dumbbells, you got a multi-stack machine, if it's Marcy or not, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a place to train, just get something in, man. It is hard. We all have things to do. We have responsibilities. We have children. We have bills to pay. We got to go to work. We got to do things around the house. We got projects around the house when you own a house, if you guys know. You always got to do something. So, uh, yeah. It's truly rise and grind. <laughs> so, uh, whew, all right. Let me get this one in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Get these bad boys up. Bad. I got it done. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nah. That's when you know, when you start really pulling in there. Oh man. That's when you know. When you start getting those last two or three reps and you feel that muscle just really pumping up. It's great. All right, so. Uh, let's get this back down. We're going to do some front raises here. Really just isolate. there that last one uh, next time I definitely challenge myself the next time I do seated military presses I am gonna up the ante and go up another five or ten pounds I think I could have done I did about 13 14 reps there I believe I think it was like 13 reps pretty clean the last one was definitely a challenge but uh, nevertheless uh, I feel I can easily could have done maybe 10, even nine got good reps with about another five more pounds, maybe even 10. So uh, I'm probably next time I'm gonna do 35 for my last set or maybe as much as 40, you know? We'll see, all right, front, front raises, considering I just did, I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I'm gonna stay with a moderate weight and I'm just gonna do two sets.
Uh. One more. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Whew. I could easily stop right there, but I will do at least two. I don't like doing it just one set, but uh, two sets is good. Don't mind the messes here. I, I started, started already with some baseball activities in here. So I got the pop-up net in here, getting my son ready for a spring ball. I got the other net over here on the other side, which you can't see right now. Uh, that's for that's our hitting station, our throwing station. And I still have another piece of net to put up as well. So, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to smother up the whole space I have, so that I can be able to still get my workouts in. Can't wait for spring already, man. Oof. Cold weather is brutal. I used to enjoy all this weather when I was younger. It's just. It didn't phase me back then, but now that I'm older, it's just, yeah, it's a bit brutal. A bit brutal, considering having a warm place to go to for the winters and then just coming back for new, to, new, to New York for the spring through the fall. Here we go. Second set, last set for the front raises. Ugh, these are seated. Let's get ready for some side delts. Oh. Oh. Get these in here. Oh. So, gotta move this over. You just turn this bench. Just a little bit over so bad. I made it to do these. done with the movements All right. oh. here we go these are gonna be challenging but seated is always a lot harder to do than standing I imagine just like I knew I've done these too many too many times over the years they are a lot harder to do seated I may have to drop the weight but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to stay there and try to get eight to ten good strict reps uh, we're gonna do two more side delts because I already engaged the rear and then the front de delts got quite a bit with the military press and the front laterals. So we want to hit the medials at least with three good sets. I think next time I do shoulders, I'm gonna do like a whole Marcy gym workout using just cables, upper and lower pulleys, uh, and, uh, and do some stuff there. So this way I change it up so that I, it kind of became a dumbbell workout today. So I think the next shoulder workout will be an all Marcy machine cable, lower pulley and upper pulley uh, cable rows. We're gonna use those cables a little bit more. All right, second set, here we go. Three, two, one. <clears throat> 
garage I'm starting to get a little hot underneath this fleece jacket Ooh, I'm starting to feel a little bit of the sweat building up oh. all right last set best set let's go let's cap this up oh, three two one let's go Just completed shoulder workout. Uh, I easily feel I can push even more so the next time around, but I got a good pump. I mean, the shoulders have been pumped, uh, and that's what counts, man. Is how much blood you're getting in there. Are you doing the workout, you know, with as as best a form as you possibly have, strict form. You're really are isolating and squeezing that muscle at the top. Uh, those are the key things, at least in my opinion, man. That has worked for me. So, uh, so recap: I did the face pulls to loosen up the rear uh, delts. I followed that up with the incline, uh, you know, uh, rear uh, rows, and then we did the one set of Arnold's with three sets of military presses, dumbbell seated. We did the front lateral raises for two sets seated, and I was just finished completing three sets of side lateral seated. So, uh, man, that concludes today's workout. I'm looking forward to getting something to eat. Uh, you know, comment down below. Let me know what you think of these workouts, man. I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to do my thing, man. I'm just trying to rise and grind. And that's pretty much my mindset every day is when I get up, it's just going to do what I got to do, get the day done because it is a grind every day. And then when it's time to work out, make sure that I come in here and I grind it out and work my tail off, you know, so I can see some results. So again, you know, if you put in a good strong effort, you'll get great results. You put a little in, a little bit in, you're gonna get a little bit out. So that's just the way it is, man. But I'm done, I'm good. Shoulders are nice and pumped, feel fantastic. I'm looking forward to some protein now, eating some food. And man, I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace out, man, rising grind. <laughs>